Today, a final goodbye to a church that has touched the lives of families for nearly 150 years. St. Jane's Catholic Church on Bridge Street is closing. The church held its final mass today. News 8's Byron Tollefson was there and has more. It has been more than two years since mass was held here at St. James Catholic Church. But today the church was packed as hundreds gathered for one last mass here. Since its opening a century and a half ago, St. James Catholic Church on Bridge Street has touched the lives of so many families. There's been a lot of memories here. We've been, all been baptized here. Um, we've a lot of us has been married here. Uh, we buried our parents here. I went here to school uh, for eight grades. I was baptized here. My mother was baptized here probably about 1914. Um, and my mom and dad got married. It's just a beautiful church. I'm sorry to see that it's uh, no longer going to be available. And I'm just glad that our family had the opportunity to share it one last time. An emotional final homecoming. I'm sad, very sad. Lots of, lots of sad memories and good memories. So they'll be with me. We've been facing here at St. James 30 years of decline. Since the church has been closed, mass has been held at the Basilica of St. Adelbert. Very Reverend Ronald Hutchinson says St. James has too much structural damage for service to continue. They're not usable staircases because number one, they're crumbling, and number two, they don't have the proper handrails on them. There's a lot of uh, structural issues you can't see in the inside, but outside, there's a huge amount of cracking throughout all of the foundation. Father Hutchinson says attendance has dwindled at the church for years. There wasn't an empty seat today. If we had people, this number of people here every weekend, I wouldn't have been facing what we're facing right now. The property will be put on the market in the next week. The pews will either be sold or donated. Father Hutchinson says whoever buys the stained glass windows will be required to preserve them. There is indeed sadness today, to be sure. This is a historic place. We feel the same kind of sadness when we uh, move away from our home. Oh, this was incredible, seeing so many people come and worship this last mass. There's so many memories here. Outside, a garden created in tribute to a churchgoer who died of cancer at the age of 32. Her sister says the garden isn't what it used to be, as the church has been closed. It's one of many memories at St. James, a place of worship for generations. I want to remind people all those memories still exist in their hearts. All those things that are truly important are always there. The church is not a building. The church is the people of God. Father Hutchinson says this tribute will be part of the sale. He says he tried to move it to another church, but because it was made in cement, it would have been too expensive. In Grand Rapids, Byron Tollefson, News 8.